Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing now is Lone 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 Star. Or just Lone Star. Um, I played them before, but thank god for the Air Force. Originally bases for weapons of mass destruction, the 12 missile bases dotted on Albaline, or Abilene, turned into safe havens from these very same weapons. And we had to prioritize what we let into them, however. I know that by Cho Bang, but rebuilding our star. The years that followed the Great War brought much hardship to those who had survived, despite this all. They managed to begin restoring Abilene, making a shining star amongst the wastes. Oh, we should probably uh, speed up a little bit more so we can actually go ahead and do some more focuses and whatnot. Um, did I forget to do this? Yeah, I did. Caps update, thank you very much. Um, are we missing anything? We're missing a little bit of everything, actually. Do we have any money right now? 16. Gun runners, thank you very much for the guns. Silos of the uh, 578. During the height of the Cold War, the dusty plains around Abilene housed 12 missile silos belonging to the 578th Strategic Missile Stru uh, Squadron. Whilst the missiles were decommissioned long before the turn of the 21st century, the missile silos they resided in remained Air Force property up until the outbreak of the Great War. As missiles started flying, the most senior local commander, Colonel Kerry Owens, had a tough decision to make. He had 12 silos built to survive nuclear detonations and the harsh fallout that would follow them, but far too many of the important things to put in them. Her men had bunkers, but the local National Guard units not saving men, f saving fighting men would surely help after the apocalypse, or Owens could prioritize moving precious resources into the silos, resources that would be invaluable in the future. Or should he allow all citizens who could make it to shelter in the bunkers? It was her duty not to save American lives? With little hesitation, Owens made a choice. Is this guy or a woman? I guess it doesn't really matter really in the end, but seems a bit odd, but all right. Um, National Guard took priority. Use equipment. We need all the stockpile space we could get. Mm, protecting citizens was the first call of duty. One, two, three, four. Eh, it's not bad. Shale's army musters. The I-10 and I-20 once both thrived with trade from the west, destined for Dallas and Austin. Now the Shale's means have but all blocked the I-10, the I-20 booms. What's we'll survive the apocalypse? While spared a direct hit, Abilene suffered two glancing blows from missiles striking to the north and southeast of the city. Most buildings were flammed by the shockwaves, but more resilient structures than the Dias, uh, Dias Air Force Base and city center remained standing. The survivors of the blast, emerging from the missile silos surrounding the city, found themselves greeted with a dead city. They needed a goal and fast, lest their despair overtook them. Colonel Owens once again took the helm, making a tough decision to prioritize one project above all others. The following years would be harsh, and many of those that survived in the missile silos around Abilene what perished from malnutrition, illness or radiation, poisoning, including Owen, Colonel Owens herself. Despite the overwhelming hardships, the principle of Project Owens pushed for was completed and has transformed Abilene into a shining star of hope around the nuclear wasteland that Texas had become. Indeed, it became the Lone Star. That project was ensuring safe access to food, water for all citizens, significant rebuilding Dias Air Force Base, providing a safe haven for all, the clearing of the I-20 line for all to reach Lone Star. Um, we want resources this way. I like this one. We could really use that one. We're going to go this one. What else are we building here, too? 134. Uh, 5. So, we already have travel scout kits. Uh, one. Oh. Boom. Okay, we're good. Formation of the Texan Economic Union. Just under a decade ago, the Texan Economic Union came into force. An agreement between ourselves and the Texan brother to progress forward together. Now, the times renew the pack. There's little doubt it'll pass, but under what conditions? That means block the I-10. Before the war, there were two great roads into Texas from the southwest, the I-10 and I-20. Even after the Great War, the two roads remained relatively undamaged, leading to a significant flow of trade and people from the west to Austin along the I-10 and to Dallas along the I-20. As a result, settlements along the two roads began to find their feet again, gradually expanding and rebuilding. That was until the means arrived. Led by the charismatic but twisted shale, they made their home along the I-10. Shale's hostility to humans, ensuring no trade combos could travel the I-10 until they had moved on. As a result, the I-20 became the only safe and reliable route into both Austin and Dallas, thanks to this Lone Star boom. Our industry expanded to, uh, pro to provide for the traders. Trade along the Colorado needed protection too. The markets in our city soon grew bigger than ever. As much as I want more money. This will come on, this will come later, more naturally, later on. Burn Texas down, no, we can't do that one, or this one, which is fine. Texan Pride seems pretty good. Economic Powerhouse is also very good. Um, industry to provide. 
spanning military complexes. While sort of large consumer goods industry thrives thanks to our dominance of the I-20 around Lone Star, our military industry lags significantly behind. Average must be make marry this military focus with a large industrial sector, but friendship across Texas. While Lone Star is without a doubt an economic powerhouse, military affairs has never been our strong suit for this part. We rely on paramilitary groups and mercenary companies. To the southeast lies the Texan Brotherhood of Steel, who are quite the opposite. The Brotherhood has a strong military and advanced tactics, but struggles with a sluggish economy. The solution, therefore, seemed fairly uh, natural. The unification of both nations under one economic treaty. Under the official agreement, or original agreement, a 10-year ten ten union would cover trade and industrial relations, with Lone Star providing technical know-how to the Brotherhood, and the Brotherhood providing military expertise to Lone Star in return. The agreement was ratified by both sides in the turn of the new year in 2265, coming into effect on this day 10 years ago. Whilst the original agreement was time limited, there's little doubt an extension would be aligned or signed once the successes of the agreement became clear. A permanent extension was therefore put by our assembly last week. Extension passed conditional on greater military advice, advice stability war support, or stability in political power, or war support and ruler. Extension passed, but closer than many would have wished. Want war support? Army XP? I'm going to go for that. I want more political power immediately. Now I've got this over here. Strength and unity. Reduced by 0 0.03 for ourselves and our partners in this pack. Reducing strength and modifier. Um, recall the love of expedition. Well, strength and unity. Our economic ties with the brother allows us to reap significant industrial benefits. Any attempts by one side to increase the profitability of the pack will surely benefit both sides equally. So we don't have anyone here that I really want badly. Head in the clouds, it's not bad. Uh, Monthly population is not bad too. Get more political power, stability, and growth with Morris Hamilton. Or we can come here and just grab the golden gecko. I like the gecko. Increase of war, increase of political power, and whatnot. You know, it is what it is. Perhaps some drug trades pass me a hit. Cool. And we have Joe Bang, captivating speaker, economic know-how, radical reformer, and stout defender. Joe Bang of the Lone Star is no stranger to the ways of Texas. Having grown up on the outskirts of Abilene, Joe Bang was quick to learn the ways of trade and life along the I-20, joining his parents in caravans, heading all across Texas and beyond. Such practical experience gave the young man a reputation as a hard but fair dealer and trader, able to come to mutually beneficial agreements and earn the respect of his fellow man. When the people of Lone Star had to choose who would represent them when dealing with the Brotherhood of Dallas and the mutants of Austin, Joe Bang's name was nominated by most of the city. Armed with his trusty lever action and decades of negotiating experience, Joe Bang will make sure that Lone Star gets its fair share of the deal. That is Texas unification. A massacre outside of Lee Town, more than the hand gang? Our garrison at Lee Town was awakened early this morning by an exhausted blood soaked caravan guard collapsing at their steps in the early hours, and the verge of collapsing. He managed to say a few words to our garrison commander, Captain Rose Edmund. Ambush, road, <coughs> massacre, ha hand gang. Edmund shook her head in disbelief. The hand gang? A hanging? Or surely not. They had been mostly wiped out by the lawmen and brotherhood special forces long ago when the survivors weren't capable of an ambush, much less a massacre. Dutifully, however, Edmund gathered up her men and marched to the I 20. The early reports from her scouts were bad, but nothing could prepare for the sight they were greeted by when they approached the river. The only movement among the bodies was a red banner fluttering. Oh god. The caravan was still just about fighting back. They lose manpower and lose stability. I'd rather lose all that stability, probably. And move production, anyways? Oh, we're moving a whole infrastructure. Holy cow. We're going to need more guns. We're definitely going to need more guns for this. Um, research weapons and ways of war. We lag behind our neighbors in terms of military research. The Texan Brotherhood's advisors can only do so much for us, and we need to redouble our own efforts. So that being said, it's not bad. Agriculture, uh, morality for scientists, we're humanitarians. Folks in the eternal sphere, send us some manual prospectors. Um, I want more political power, like I said. Let them go on for a little bit. Corruption alone started. If you're wondering about this, please go ahead. Uh, I'd rather lose the political power, unfortunately. Uh, go ahead, that's fine. Let's grab consumer political power first. Higher additional mercenary companies. The vast majority of the army, we feel, is mercenary companies. More inexperienced groups are usually assigned to garrison or settlements, whilst larger, more equipped companies can be used as frontline units should the need arise. And then, recall the Lubbock expedition. With trouble brewing at home, we need all the experienced hands we can. 
Captain Saunders and his lovely expedition style still patrol the I-20 beyond our borders. It's time to call them home. Yeah, that'd be good to do. Just in case. Good. Bay of T. Lawmen. Once peacekeepers of our streets, the lawmen have fought many battles for the greater good. Sadly, the lawmen seem to be need to be called out ever more frequently and they're starting to feel the strain. Not good. Crisis on Colorado. The second town of the season, the lead town garrison, been awoken in the early hours by blood soaked messenger at the perimeter. While she would hope that this day would never come, Captain Edmund is no fool, and had been making preparations for another massive engagement with a hostile voice, and so sprung into action. This time, however, the talk had not come on a caravan on the I-20, but instead on a large convoy following the Colorado southeast to Austin. Edmund's troops marched as fast as they could to reach the battle set, but by the time the garrison arrived, the attacking force was long gone. Instead, all that was left was burnout caravans and canoes, with hundreds of bodies littering the ground. It was a tragedy of even greater proportions than the last attack. These attackers were efficient, merciless, and able to strike across a large area. Something sinister must be at work, but this kind of attack is far beyond the hand gang. Double rubber patrols, this must not happen again. The next attack will surely come on the I-80. Our settlements could be next. Expand the garrisons. Alright, so that much PP. Now that we're getting optimized training wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't mind more stability too, but uh, military strategist, army strategist. Focus, victory of the greater good, conventional warfare, land doctrine. Either one doesn't really matter. Military theorist doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Let's start working on some army XP. And then from there, we're going to grab an economic powerhouse. And more stability, too. You know what? Let's get more stability now. And we're going to go down uh, a conventional warfare, too. It's only June, so let's grab this. It's fine. Also, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues, uh, Generic Decisions Expanded, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, um, just because we have all these here. Oh, yes, please. That's good. You yeah, know, that might hurt us in the end, actually, a little bit. Oopsie. Uh, Kenny the Fox is good, and we're going to actually go with Inspirational so that you learn more and faster. Because soon enough, we're going to have a few things we're going to deal with here. Yeah. Control of the I-20 is pretty good. Now that the Shadows Mutant Army occupies the I-10, the I-20 is the only safe road for traders to enter Texas through. As a result, it's become a, a thriving trade route. Our precious Lone Star is the beating heart of it all. All trade must flow on the I-20, and so all trade must flow through Lone Star, bringing with it all matter of exotic goods and rare artifacts. I love money. Hey, look at that good. You know what? You go here. You go here. Keep these people where they're currently at. Even more PP. God dang it. Old oh, roll blues, really? Uh, we could scavenge with vehicles, but we want to save that PP. Or that, the caps for now. Nice. Right, so Legionaries and Lone Star. While our leadership in Lone Star has naturally been aware that a disturbing attacks around Lee Town over the past four months, uh, nobody could have prepared for the new lawmen. Or the news the lawmen brought Cho Bang today. According to their men on the streets of the Lone Star, two legionaries were spotted walking into an alleyway in one of the poor districts of the city. Well, unconfirmed by more than a handful of witnesses, legionaries haven't been seen around Lone Star since the Legion's scavenging mission to the area more than a decade ago. Even during the expedition, uh, the groups stayed far away from the city, making the site even more bizarre. If we weren't for the tax on Lee Town over the past couple of months, we'd be able to discount this report with ease. However, the more we think about it, the more it seems to make sense the coordination of the attacks, the brutality, the expertise that the legionaries are at play. The risk is far greater than any of us could have imagined. Find these legionaries now. Or reduce or revolt generals, but some houses will be damaged in the process. Remove a city. Posting units to our factories will reduce the effect of sabotage in the event of a revolt and save a situation, but have costs. The lawmen must be hallucinating, surely. We'll take no action preventing mass hysteria, but also prevent us from taking action against any revolt. I don't want to lose a city. More stability is nice, too. Could settle people down, but we're probably often not going to do that. Uh, we're still doing this one, right? Yeah. Two days left. Nice. Mercs. Uh, we just need numbers. That's all we need. Numbers, numbers, numbers. I call it uh, expeditions. Well, authorized emergency uh, economic measures. Guys, we're faced with no simple issue. If we're to properly combat the eruption of violence, we need to pass on emergency fiscal legislation. Absolutely. 
get stuff we can upgrade with. Perceptive, intelligent. All pretty good stuff. Find your kids a little ahead of time. Crawl control, I'm sure. Anything else here? Brother to military advisors. As part of the Texan Economic Union, the Brother provides us with some military experts to help us improve and upgrade our military. It has been invaluable over the last decade, leading to a successful establishment of both the I-20 Patrolman and the Rapid Response Corps. More surely to come. Hey, that's pretty good. Of course, humanitarian scientists, hurts research people, whatever. Legionary pull the strings. Following the sightings of legionaries and Lone Star itself, it seems that we have the solution to our conundrum. The Han Gang, a Han Gang, is unified under some legate of the Legion, as intent on either toppling or destabilizing our government. We'll have to wait for the next move. Wow, that's a lot of manpower we lose. We got plenty of that. Um with one more for now. There's in between one more maybe here. I don't really want to use these guys, but I'm not sure what else to use, really. Standing arm is good, because I want this one. Provide tools. Big grass. All them doing their stuff. Economic advisors. Uh, I don't really want to use Pete. Do other emergency actions, retention and cap. I'm try command. Patient teacher is not bad. Rapid responder is not bad either. Speed and core, defensive core territory. Victory for the greater good. Victory for the greater good. No, not quite. Can't choose either one of these two, so we have to choose both of these. Do more defense, which is nice. Quick witted. Reach out to the old. How about you for the Air Force? Well, we're going to end up in a war very, very soon, anyways. Cultural advisors. Anything that we just have to have right now. No. Well, then I'm going to choose this guy. More speed and defensive core territory. Bowed and Hancock. And then maybe get more political power. Nope. Yeah, those are PP. Finally, in the streets of Lone Star. No matter what we all hope, we all know deep down that this day would come. Starting in the northern outskirts of Lone Star, skirmishes have started breaking out across the city between the Legion, or lawmen, and hand or band insurgents. At first, limited in scope and length, even more clashes are sparking as it became clear the lawmen alone are ill prepared to deal with the insurgency. Whilst the attacks are nowhere near total war, they have a possibility to evolve into it. Based on the current situation, fighting will probably reach the central district within two or three days. We take action to prevent this. Will God help us all? Divert all units? Uprising must be crushed. Posting extra units to Lone Star will reduce the number of enemy divisions that spawn around Lone Star. So spread, defend our settlements. Diverting units to the minor settlements will reduce enemy divisions spawning around our settlements. Empower the lawmen to deal with the crisis. Empower the law increase the number of lawmen divisions spawning the outbreak of civil war. Replace fatigue lawmen with empowered lawmen. Get more command power. I want more divisions, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. And things are going to explode very soon. Kaboom. There we go. Starting ham. Battle rages across I-20 as war is broken out of the heart of Texas once again. The Raiders and brigands under the banner of the ham war band have launched an attempt to seize the lands belonging to the Lone Star Trading Republic. So far, fighting has been reported on both sides of I-20 and around the city. The Lone Star itself, though, is not clear who holds the advantage. Spokespeople from other members of the Texan Economic Union have come forward in support of the Lone Star, although though notably unable to offer any concrete answers as to whether or not they aim to directly intervene in the conflict. As for the Han War Band, some locals claim they seek to imitate the Legion to the West, with some of the rank reportedly having served under the Mad Centurion and Paulus. What are the ultimate outcome? The Texas will be affected dramatically by this war, and we will prevail. So these guys are all around and whatnot. I'm going to send you guys these this way. Uh, I want to keep you guys here. I want to make sure we do this, we do that. Um, really, you guys are all going to have to come up here. You guys are going to be the ones holding them down here. The uprising spreads. We hope that the bulk of the Wahan Warband's forces were being used in the assault on Lone Star, but that appears far from the case. In the far north and south of the territory, we received reports of local garrisons being besieged by invading warbands. Um, if Lee Town and Haskell have not yet fallen, they soon will, especially Haskell to the north, where it appears the Legion Division has joined the attack on the local garrison. Even graver news comes from the north. Of Lone Star itself, where fresh enemy divisions have been sighted preparing an all-out attack on our capital. Oh god. In response to this threat, the lawmen have mobilized themselves in military-style divisions, and all mercenary divisions have been put on full alert. It seems we have a fight on our hand, pals. Better give it our all. Same word of the brother, we need help here. Oh, they're true to Kaiser. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to have you move fast, 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 fast. You can help combat how fast they're going to move. You are going to keep these guys in place. You got to help kill these divisions off. Go here. Oh, you're already there. Nice. You get in there, you help them out. Get under triumph, that's good. Hey, more division's good. 
Uh, more caps, distribute arms to the citizenry. Yeah. When every citizen able to defend themselves. Uh, thanks. Uh, if we were to war off the threat emerging against the nation, so they must all bear arms. Yes. Are you kind of special forces ish? Special ish. Special enough. If you guys would take this division out, that'd be fantastic. God, no, you can't let them link up. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, I, I played as a hand warband, and we couldn't do anything against Lone Star. But these guys are doing extraordinarily well against us, too, now. Which is really quite bad. Why, why do they spawn here? Hello? Keep these guys in place, my god, what the heck are you doing? Good, thank god that division died, Jesus Christ, that's so stupid. We're, oh, the motorized are slowly losing here. Not a deal. Well, once these divisions are dead, we can actually start uh, circling, maybe, hopefully. Uh, it's a little ahead of time, let's come all the way, you know what, we'll grab this one, we'll need it eventually. Come on, come on, do it better. We're just here to defend right now. Come on. Thank God. Okay. Alright, you. Okay. Up them out a little bit more. That'd be nice. Do anything we could add on our units? Not really. Not too much. Um, patrolmen. They already have recon on them, which is great. crap out of them, please. That'd be nice. Uh, probably not, for now. So at least we, we stemmed the bleeding. Which is good. Destroy the Air Force Base. Uh, sure. Increase our political power next. So at least the front line has stabilized. Thank God, Jesus. Whew. Good. Could expand army training, but at this point we're not definitely not going to do that. Um, I want you to be somewhere else. You come up here. Because I need you guys to break through here. I need you to get down to lead town fast. Play door strengths. Our good girls are good. One more soft protect as well. Help them out. Volunteers from Austin. Keats, feeling like we're in need, has sent us a volunteer general. They're willing to take orders and help on the front lines as soon as necessary. Let's hope they serve well. That'll be great. That one more chapter for Summit Lodge. You guys are just going to go ahead and start attacking them here. Yeah, we can't really help you out. We got a little bit. A few cast for ourselves, and that's pretty much it. Good. Free fighters helping us out, that's good. They might take a lead town, but the most important thing is to take out enemy divisions. Good. Yeah, it's getting better for us. Took out two enemy divisions? Fantastic. We got that one done already. Wouldn't mind working on the special forces a little bit more. There you go. Not gonna really have all that much, but whatever. Alright. Um I want you up here. If we can get advanced vehicle technology, that'd be great. I don't think we can though. Could you guys do this maybe? Here, you're here. Help him out. Like I said, when I played as the hand warband, uh, or not hand warband, or you know, hand yeah, war, hand warband. Um, honestly, the legion should be helping them out. I know they're at war with other people and whatnot, but the legion should be getting some help, or the hand warband should be helping out the legion. I mean, to me, it makes sense. Why would they not help them out? Especially when we send legionnaires this way, or we get uh, Lannis' legion to help out, maybe? So, to me, that just makes sense that that's what should happen, but then again, I'm just a guy on the internet. Uh, stability, yes, please, that'd be nice. 
Ja. Joi. Nice. Hey, more political power too. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Can we increase this? No, we cannot yet. And you guys want to go here. And I want you. Where are you? Go here. There you go. Army's not terrible. Frontline mercenaries are okay. Keep the army quick witted. I'm gonna reach out to the old. Hmm. So we're here. Go. Oh, this one. Let's go emergency legislation. Oh, this one cancel if we're no longer war. Oh, okay, so it'll cancel. So we can wait. We can get this focus done first. You know, we might as well wait and get this focus done first. Oh, lock and load. Oh, we can eventually maybe use power on perhaps. Self sufficient. We got a little bit of time here. Keep the Navy, keep the Air Force. I guess Joe Bang might as well. Joe Bang it up. Just toy with them a little bit. Go here to here, maybe. That'd be good. Speed well. Cam's been wounded, today. Eh? Desperados. Nice. Good. Nice. Pretty simple. Love it. Yeah, so it's way easy when you have volunteers and whatnot from other people and stuff. Um, now you're not allowed to win, free fighters. You gotta wait. I wanna get that uh, 300 caps. Is it gonna make a huge difference? No. But I want the money. It hurts our stability a little bit. We can always make more stability later on. Freedom of speech. I might go with the state press. We'll see. Plans grow speed's a lot, though. Yeah, no, I... Okay, never mind. I made a decision now. Leave it alone. State press. Go. Cool. Let's win. Time. Doing both these. Boom. Resistors. Great right job, guys. Victory of the greater good. Following the weeks of grueling fighting across the territory, we have finally managed to beat the reunified hand war band and the legionaries that supported them. So time to catch your breath and think of the future. The old order triumphant. With well, the last fox of the hand warband being eliminated as we speak, it seems all but certain that we survived the insurgency of the hand warband and the legionaries' allies. Fortunately, the legion involvement was limited and not a full-scale invasion as we first feared it. It appears instead that the groups were remnants of legion scavenging groups sent into Texas over a decade ago. 
remained behind attempt to take over and woke Kaiser a sailor. Certainly, if they had succeeded, it would have been a master stroke, granting the Legion a base deep into Texas, however, they fortunately failed decisively at that. Much is left to do, however. We've had a major extent to diplomatic and economic concessions to win against the warband, and we'll need to make time, or have time, to recover again. Moreover, we still have our plans for developing the Texan Economic Union to do with exciting times they had. Forward we go, stronger than before. We take or rekindle the Economic Union. While it's once a great strength of our nations, we've allowed the Texan Economic Union to fizzle out while we were busy fighting the hand warband. We gotta reverse this. Absolutely. In this case, we gotta fight Lubbock, so be it. Train. Ah, love drugs. Hey, look at all that money we got now, too. I'm not sure what to do with it, but whatever. Ah. Arbitrating, yes, please. We actually have a lot of equipment here. It's pretty nice. But even though we've got a lot of money, we want more. So we're improving relations with these guys even more. Oh, never mind. Turn your fingers to 13. Well, I guess we bought some basic melee equipment here then. Go figure. Defenses are online? Great. Overloaded defenses? Great job, guys. So, what do I do with all this money? I guess bottle caps economy. Can't even do that one too either. Well, we'll save it for later. I'm sure we can invest it in something later on. Good. Coleman. Could we invest more in Lone Star, but whatever. I wonder if we have any planes. Ooh, yes, from the node. Go ahead. Ah, love caffeine. What about planes? We're still researching our land option speed out there. Cool. Demobilize the lawmen, because they don't want to get over here fast. But on the conclusion of the Civil War, uh, we no longer have a real use for heavily militarized body of lawmen. We should stand them down, letting them return to their old duties while with newfound experience. Yeah. Fine. After the support equipment thing, should be fine to do too. I'm going. Hey, welcome aboard, racers. Rapid response, lawmen, riders, Lubbock volunteers. Yeah, can we edit some of these divisions, please? That'd be nice. Not sure how much that's actually going to help out, but whatever. What am I increasing your political power too again? That'd be quite good. Old world lots because sucks not having, but whatever. Ah, oh, dreams of reform Texas. Let's see. Learn from Ranger Garrison. So if you wonder about this, please go ahead. Uh, after, after the intervention of the Civil War, our Texan Rangers have a number of garrisons cross country. We asked them to assist in our military training, surely can improve our equipment and tactics. Versus request Ranger withdrawals. While the Texan Rangers were instrumental in defeating the hand war band, were capable of keeping the peace now the bulk of the enemies have been defeated. We should ask them to leave. Now we're gonna learn from them. I think learning from them is probably the best problem. Return to Lubbock. To survive the Civil War, we sally to return our long-standing military expedition to Lubbock. Now that the sands have settled, maybe time to return to protect the roads we once did. However, we established the Lubbock expedition, and they accept Captain Saunders and his Lubbock volunteers or return to defend Lubbock, and we'll guarantee their independence. If they refuse, we'll keep the Lubbock veterans and gain the ability to edit the template. Or avoid poking new BIs. If we don't want to be stung by this war again, we should avoid finding new BI of the folk. No. We're returning to Lubbock. No, just in case, we could uh, increase relations, can we? Off military axis. Oh, we can't improve relations. Oh, well, never mind. Forget I spoke. It's August, come back over here. Let's go to the very bottom. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Dynamite. Nice Barrage balloons, totally gonna use those, totally. Nice. I'll start editing these patrolmen. Oh crap. Alright. 
I have one more that way too? Yes, we can. That's good. That's good. Okay. Well, all right, whatever. Unique. Nothing uniquely Texan. What the heck? I wouldn't mind going mechanized, but I only go mechanized if I have advanced like vehicles, and we don't have advanced vehicles. Maybe someday. But definitely not today. What's uh, Poseidon? Energy? Eh, it's not bad. Not really super necessary for us, though. As we return to Lubbock. And what do they say? Yes, no, maybe so? It's the army reformed. Our army is heavily dependent on mercenary groups to form the majority of frontline battalions. We need changes to save the caps make our new army more dependable. Phew. Awesome. Hey, Lubbock welcomes our expedition. Lubbock's accepted our offer to establish so-called Lubbock Expedition. The troops that used to compose this detachment are now taking up positions in Lubbock, led by the veteran, Colonel Aaron Saunders, should have lead a greater task in the future. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Group country management, yes, please. Hey, thanks for the money. Thanks for the money. Spend army training. Promote the nerve. You know the route. Good stuff. Level 7. Only level 8 can be achieved without uh, economic development. That's why we want to improve it first, and then the last ones we want to use will improve the development of the node. Fantastic. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, it's a lot of time. And it's a lot of time for the chairs. Oopsie. Well, I guess you can start this one too. She stayed doing the NCR. Also, we're on A historical, just to see what happens. Uh, so, nice training piece of war for propaganda. Meh. Army reforms. Move east in flames. Oh, this is smart. I want to lose plenty more manpower. And Western resistance. Uh, through a focused military and political campaign, we should be able to stamp out the last of the hand war band that haunts the Western territories. Yes. Ooh, we could also optimize trading, but we have science stuff and I forgot about building labs. Probably should do that too. So, we're 99.9% .9 done for uh, our economic development. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty darn good. I want to start making some dynamite. That'd be nice. Um, Strollman. You're going to definitely need some dynamite. And chems. Why not? Yeah. Keep training. Keep making. Capture the Warren. Goodbye, Warren. Make a little more money because you can. Oh, come on. Less than 3,000 manpower, it's fine, whatever. Build ourselves up even more, motorized flight, good. It's a lot of time, but barely. Basically, it's not even. And revitalize Eastern records, or regions. Out of much conflict, the recent settlements have been devastated by battles and raids. We need to kickstart healing. So I let the uh, the Texan brother do these, because I don't really care too much. Oh, we got another slot. They must have just finished the University of Texas, which I'd love to go to someday, but whatever. There's this one, too. Expand international international infrastructure. Oh, that would be bad. So they do it first. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Research bonuses. Yeah. Fantastic. I love having help with the research. Having someone else do our own focuses for us. Accelerates how fast we can do. Everything? Just awesome. Happy 2277, everybody. Good. Can do this one more? Please, yes. Good. Anything else here? Fire team, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. Nope, we're out of those. But we've got the ideal template that I like to use. Hop it, please. Yes. So now we need to save up our army XP as well. Hey, there's radios. Good. Thank 
Tink. And raw audios. You have to go first, though. Gator Maws. Uh, you know what? We'll support the war. Why not? I don't think you really need your help, but whatever. Oh, it'd be a piece. Ew. Oh, so they're doing this one right now. Interesting. Well, to do all these. Involve ranger drills. Rudimentary ranger drills. Oh, this is better. Oh, rangers for Lone Star. Law keepers. Well, develop, developments at home. Lone Star are proper. Thrive, and if we were to build our, and use our political capital to pull the right strings, we could help them boom even further. Care for relief, it's fine. Well, I could help them out, but do I really want to? Not really. They'll be fine without us. Outside our auxiliaries. Sufficient Lloyd Tower. Tax and Pride. That's a good one we should probably do. I want to see what happens though. Expedition Leader. Sly Merchant, nope. Hmm. Well. I always go with Victoria Flyers. They're pretty good, in my opinion. Nice. Vacuum tubes. Good. Radio. Well, Diana, great. Man, the Texan dollar. Um, the despite international trade within the Texan economic pact has been decided that we should establish a Texan dollar. A bold idea, indeed. So again, our dreams of reform Texas. Elected officials. Uh, let's wait for some more benefits, maybe. Use a few more military factories. Still, whatever. Another racer for now. Mixed mercenaries. Yeah. Oh, hello. She has armies justifying against us. Regular frontline troops would be good. Focus on your research. Oh. Well, I guess they started doing this one. Form the Central Bank of Texas. Hmm. Recruit new mines. A fresh pair of eyes can go a long way to avoid stagnation of thought and decline. Innovation will do well to research for alternate perspectives in the wasteland. Sure. Just in case. Unless you're going to attack Lubbock. That would be different. Battle of Hoover Dam. Let's see who they're actually going to go to war with. Watch a counterattack. <sighs> oh, I also improved country management. Well, I, want, I still want more stability. Let's see here. No. no, okay. What are we not using? Radios? Well, we will in a little bit. Ah, Unity Boston. That makes sense. Scampers would find absolutely nothing, wasting our time. We got tactics. Well, let's see who wins. Shell's army, Unity Boss. Looks like Unity's doing, for the most part, pretty well right now, but we'll see. We would have previously dared to dream a new text would be possible, but thanks to the advances of the Texan Economic Union, it has at last entered the realm of reality. Exciting times are definitely ahead. Good stuff. I want to edit infantry divisions, but we don't have any. 
We grab the response core, we can change those over, but. Hmm. Rally for scientists. Turn the radio. Oh, they're fighting the iron mongers at the same time. Ah, that's kind of tough to do. It's fine as well. Eh, maybe I won't do that one just yet. Okay, these ones. Good. Yeah, we're doing really well for now. Brothers is doing alright against the Gator Maws, taking a while though, but you know what else is new. I don't think we have any planes, do we? Someday. Someday, that's definitely not today. Switch it on over. And then what? After 2278. If the Lubbock Expedition's President Lubbock will be able to leverage our influence over the government to demand their annexation. Ooh. Before we proclaim the new Texan Republic, we must ensure our trade artery remains open. To do so, we must ensure the I-20 is open to traders by protecting it directly ourselves. The Lubba expedition will no longer do. We dare to dream. Hey! Two decades ago, the text was fractured in a chaotic mess of raiders, slavers, and trade mutants. Or traders mutants. That thing's changed. Together, Lone Star and the Texan Brothers signed the Tax and Economic Union. Mutually beneficial to both, the Union ushered in two decades of economic growth and both nations. Lone Star. Thrived as trade along the I-20 boomed, and the Texan Brothers expanded to protect yet more settlements. Together, the two brought stability and wealth to the central and southeastern regions of the old Texan Commonwealth. As a result, a previously ridiculous idea has developed the realm of insanity and joined the realm of possibility. That idea, a new Texan Republic. By combining the economic power of Lone Star with the military and peacekeeping prowess of the Texan Brotherhood, we could bring stability to the Texan wastelands previously unheard of. For the good of our people, we owe them to try. Forward. Together, my friends. And if they say no, we have ways of making them talk. Force, especially with the special forces. Their special forces are actually pretty darn good right now. Uh, so, pretty good. Boop. Boop. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. Plant cultivation. Do all the industry stuff first, I guess. More value, 100%. Oh, no longer increasing power, that sucks. Don't mess with us. Just as the Texan Republic of Old armed itself against the Mexicans, so too we must defend ourselves against the Raiders of the Wastes. Yeah. <sighs> I love drugs. Gavin, my guys. Let's see what they say. Don't mess with us. It just tickles our fancy. Lubbock accepts annexation in the face of overwhelming odds against them. The government of Lubbock has accepted our demands of annexation and integration. Command of Lubbock troops has been transferred to Captain Saunders, which established a temporary military government in Lubbock until our troops can take complete control of the area. We can now be certain our traders will be able to access the I-20 forevermore. And so we can press on with our own efforts to reform Texas. Diplomacy wins again. Oh, nice. And three experienced infantry divisions. Yay! Even though I don't, I wish we could convert these because they take up our special forces cat too, which sucks. But whatever. Seriously. For real. Delete mixed mercenary force template and remove all units created from the template. The attempts at our military reform, bringing our army closer to the model pre Great War America. Check the middle flank. Well, by following the example laid for us from the Texan Brotherhood, we'll considerable uh, scope to reform our army. Establish dominance over the I 10. While currently the I 20 is the only viable and stable route to Texas, should the I 10 or South fall into their unreliable hands, we may find our economy severely undermined. We must ensure that the only people that control trade in Texas are ourselves. Makes sense to me, man. How close are we? 20. Let's go and get this one done. It's fine. Uh, land doctrine is coming along too. Great, great, great. Way too ahead of time for us to really want to do those. Um, better pioneer case, why not? Not sure we're going to shove everybody, but we'll see what happens. Um, boosting our special forces, yeah. Don't mess with us. 
One army for Texas. Because the training formats are good. To increase our political power. Don't think we can do this anymore, can we? No. Darn it. Okay, whatever. Hey, look at that manpower, too. Uh, we don't have cores yet, do we? No, we don't. I guess we muzzle descent, too. Hey, hey General Thomas, Lannis approaches. To our west, we face down an existential threat to our nation. Lannis' court is steadily, rapidly expanding, and soon threatens to drive deep into Texas. We must protect ourselves from this threat. Oh, good. Another division. Yeah, I might as well get done so I don't have to remember about it. Uh, what else? Sure, one army for Texas. Keep it a two for now, too. Flexible designs are nice. Just gonna get it done because he can. Nuclear mastery. Boop, boop, boop. Scam the vehicle is very nice. Very good. Uh, what are we doing to occupy territories? Oh, no, no, no. We want militia for that. Gonna drop us down maybe a little bit more, but that's alright. Lance approaches. Um, unified reach. Well, we'll do this one. Further industrial knowledge. The old rule has many secrets to teach us on how to best optimize our industrial organization. Let's know what we can, but make sure to remember our own discoveries and continue the I 20 restoration home or work. One of the few weaknesses of the I-20 trade is the state disrepair of some sections. It's by no means poor quality construction, but touch-ups could certainly help it out. Yeah. Oh, savage dumps with the I-10. Ooh. Yeah. Good, happy 2278, everybody. Then we can do it protecting the northern flank. The river door north provides um, a dangerous second front land is good to employ against us. We must raise a fleet to defend the river. Yeah, that'll be good. Rally the Texan Brotherhood. We need support from the Texan Brotherhood in order to push ahead with the Reformation in Texas. Therefore, we need to ensure that we have their support and ensure they have the key cities. We own the key cities should they have fallen. Cool. Don't have everything. She all armies accepts. It's certainly a risk, but she has armies weak response makes it all worthwhile. Our gamble paid off. Control the I-10 now too. Hey, it's a good thing that war, so we can actually get that done. You see some scared package? Yeah, we could. Uh, twice the rogues, twice the wealth. Ooh. Now that we dominated the trade on the I-10 as well as I-20. We have a hegemony over all the trade entering Texas from the west. Great. And obviously, we'll let the brother deal with all this. I mean, it gives us free stuff anyway, so I love having someone else doing it for us. Love it, love it, love it. After that, you know what? Let's do that one anyways. Hmm. I'm going to save or keep it too. Nuclear mastery. Oh, nuclear research. If your was enough. Let's keep going. Threads of life. For the scientists for the labs. Nice. Are they at war? No, they're looking pretty good. Unity Boston's struggling though right now. Which is fine with us, we don't really care too much. Ball the National Guard, not ideal. But keep building. For the love of God, keep building. When you're done building, build some more. Good. Really trying to set us up to be successful here. And you know what? Old World Conscripts? You might as well. Gives them more attack and defense. Removes any dependence on anybody else. Oh! 
We can edit this in, but yeah. Oh, god dang it, I want to edit the Lubbock veterans. Do I have to actually spend our own army XP to like get actual infantry here? We may. May? We might. Yeah, seriously. Let's do that for now. It's a better template. In the end, it will be. Rob, but please. Town is almost upon us to declare a new Republic of Texas. Before we do so, we must ensure that we have a support of the Texan brother or liberate the lands that they've fallen. Hopefully they've not fallen. I don't think they have. Pretty sure they haven't. But you never know. Can you stop dying? So then we can do to declare the Provisional Republic of Texas. Now that we've completed both economic and military reforms, we can finally declare a Provisional Republic of Texas. Together with the Texan Brother, we shall bring peace to the Texan Wasteland. Now I hope we don't lose things here. I want to keep going down this way too. Even though we already technically have a Crown Jewel and Lone Star, so it doesn't actually really matter. We would get industrial technology, but is that really worth risking the price? Maybe. Let's do that one first. Do you know IRS twin restoration work? And then cutting edge developments. A proud economy will ever grow stronger off the back of scientific advancements. Sounds good to me. So to all the hangdogs, go. And then Lone Star pro uh, prospers. Our efforts haven't been for naught. Lone Star shines bright every day and its radiance will soon get in the waste. From coast to coast, everyone knows soon, soon seeing the praises of Lone Star traders. But I think on it there. We've done very well in the first episode. Love it. Enjoy. You know, every time we play a Texas, I want to go back. But then again, maybe I don't. I don't know. But hey, if you enjoyed the first episode, please consider leaving a fat like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow And when we for reform the Republic of Texas. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.